Hey hello friends welcome to another video in this video we are going to make a home automation system in which we are able to control our appliances through a smartphone this project has one more interesting addition that is biometric door unlocking system now we can easily unlock the door using our fingerprint through the cm app from which we control our home appliances so we don't need two separate apps to unlock the door we will use our smartphone fingerprint sensor let me show you how this will work to unlock the door just put your register finger on the smartphone sensor as you see solenoid door lock is unlocked by biometric fingerprint if in any case if any unauthorized person tries to unlock the door then his fingerprint will not recognized by the app consequently he is not able to unlock the door as i told you we can control our appliances through a smartphone apart from this we can also control our appliances through switch buttons So without any further delay let's get started with this video This video is sponsored by JLC PCB JLC PCB is a well known PCB prototype company in China it is specialized in quick PCB prototype and small batch production you can now order a minimum of 5 PCBs for just dollar 2 for more details check description This is the schematic of today's home automation PCB If you want you can download this schematic from description to design your own custom PCB Now convert this schematic into PCB After completing the design of your PCB you can directly order the PCB from JLC PCB or just download the Gerber file from here After that go to JLC PCB website Then click on Quote Now button under the SMT assembly. After that, upload the Gerber file of your PCB. After that, select the number of PCBs and color masking of PCB if you want. After that, select the SMT assembly service. And here you have to select on which surface you want your components to be soldered, either top surface or bottom. After that, click on the Confirm button. Now here you have to upload two more files. One is the CPL that is pick and place file and another one is BOM that is bill of material. You can download these files from your Easy EDA account. Just open that PCB project onto your Easy EDA account and then click on fabrication. Then BOM. Now click on export. Now click on export BOM to download the BOM file. Similarly download the CPL file. After downloading both the files, just upload both the files here onto this page. After that, select next. Now here it will show all the SMT components which are to be soldered and also we can select which components will soldered or not. Select select the component according to your preference. After that, click on next button. Then click save to cart to complete your order. After a week, my PCB arrived at my place in a new blue box of JLC PCB. Let me open the box. The packaging of PCB in bubble wrap is very good. Here it is our home automation PCB. The quality of PCB is good and the SMT components are soldered well. SMT assembly service of JLC PCB is great. After soldering rest of the components, PCB look like this, neat, clean and well arranged. To flash the code into ESP32 chip, I will use ESP32 development board. Now make the connections according to this schematic. This is the code for our today's project. You don't need to make any changes in this code if you are using same PCB that I used in video. One thing if you want you can change uh, here the name of bluetooth device. You can give it any name you want. And rest of the code is okay. After selecting write board and com port, hit upload button. After clicking the upload button onto the PCB, I will press and hold the boot button 
and press the reset button once to make this module go inside the boot mode. Connect solenoid door lock and all the bulb and switches according to this schematic. You can download this schematic from description. Download APK file of this app from description and install in your phone. After installing the app, we need to pair the USB 32 with our smartphone. Now open Bluetooth setting of your phone and pair with the USB 32. After that, open the app. Connect the app with USB 32 via Bluetooth. Now everything is done. Let's see project in action.